you've had cataract surgery or have been learning more about the procedure, you may have come across an entity called posterior capsule opacification, or PCO. In this video, I'll explain PCO and how we treat it. Also, if you want to stay up to date with videos related to eye health, make sure you subscribe to this channel. The best way to think about a PCO is to understand that the eye's natural lens is contained within a supportive capsule, sometimes referred to as a capsular bag. During cataract surgery, we remove the eye's natural lens while keeping that capsular bag intact. We keep that capsular bag intact so that it can support the new artificial lens that's placed at the time of cataract surgery. Surgeons make every effort to remove every single part of the eye's natural lens during cataract surgery, but there's no doubt that there's microscopic cells that are left behind after almost all cases. The problem is that these microscopic cells can grow and multiply, and if they do so, they can start to obscure vision, and it can feel like the cataract has come back even though it hasn't. That's what we call posterior capsule opacification, or PCO. Some people call a PCO a secondary cataract, but again, the cataract has not come back. It's just these residual microscopic cells that have grown over the eye's natural lens capsule. Here we can see examination of a patient's left eye that has undergone prior cataract surgery. There's an intraocular lens implant sitting within the capsular bag. The implant is well-centered and nice and clear with no evidence of posterior capsule opacification. In comparison to the patient's right eye, here we can see evidence of posterior capsule opacification, which is that frosted glass or smudgy appearance to the backside of the intraocular lens here. This posterior capsule opacification is causing symptoms of decreased vision and generalized haze. Posterior capsule opacification, or PCO, is relatively common after cataract surgery. Some studies suggest that it can occur in one out of four or even half of all patients that have the procedure. PCO can occur a few months after surgery or sometimes can take years to develop. Modern surgical techniques and new, innovative, artificial lens designs have decreased the rate of PCO, but this is still a very common occurrence after cataract surgery. Just because somebody has been diagnosed with a PCO does not mean that it has to be treated. We make the decision to treat a PCO the same way that we make the decision to treat a cataract. That is, based on a patient's visual symptoms. If a patient's visual symptoms are bothersome enough that it affects one's day-to-day -day life activities, then we typically make the decision to go ahead and treat the condition. Fortunately, PCO can be treated with a relatively straightforward and safe office-based laser procedure called YAG laser capsulotomy. With YAG laser capsulotomy, laser energy is directed at the backside of the posterior capsule, which has become cloudy or opacified with those microscopic cells that have moved towards the center. The laser energy breaks apart the posterior capsule in order to create a clear central opening in the capsule and allow for improvement of vision. YAG laser capsulotomy is typically performed in the office or sometimes in a surgery center, but IV sedation or general anesthetic should not be required in adult patients. We start the procedure by numbing the eye with eye drops and then placing a temporary contact lens over the surface of the eye. The contact lens helps us to focus laser energy onto the posterior capsule. A few laser applications are given to the posterior capsule to clear away the central zone which has become cloudy. We then remove the contact lens. The actual procedure is usually very short, typically around five minutes or so. Because the posterior capsule does not have any nerve endings, there's typically no pain associated with the procedure. We do use bright lights to perform the procedure though, which means that the vision will be a little bit dim afterwards. Also, one's eye may feel a little dry after the procedure, and that's typically due to that temporary contact lens that we use to focus the laser energy. All of these symptoms typically get much better by the very next day and vision typically improves by a few days after the procedure. Patients can go home the same day of the procedure and there's really no restrictions afterwards except for limiting activities that require normal vision in both eyes. So it's usually a good idea to take the day off work the day of the procedure and also not operate a motor vehicle that day. Patients are usually seen a few weeks after the procedure for a checkup with their eye doctor. Here you can see examination of a patient's eye that has just undergone YAG laser capsulotomy. The posterior capsule is now nice and clear and the patient has experienced improvement in vision. YAG laser capsulotomy is a generally safe procedure. 
but there are risks to every procedure. The AG laser is typically associated with some degree of inflammation inside of the eye. That inflammation typically goes away on its own, but if it doesn't, your eye doctor may prescribe eye drops to help the inflammation go away. Also, the inflammation can sometimes cause an increase in eye pressure, and if that's the case, your eye doctor may prescribe eye drops for a short period of time to decrease the eye pressure and the risk for developing glaucoma. Because the procedure involves making an opening in the eye's natural supportive lens capsule, there's always a chance that not enough support will remain after the procedure, and the artificial lens that was placed at the time of cataract surgery could potentially loosen or decenter. Another risk is that the gel that's normally restricted to the back part of the eye could come through the opening that's made at the time of the laser capsulotomy and into the front part of the eye. This could be associated with swelling of the retina or even detachment of the retina. There are other risks as well that go beyond the scope of this video. Your eye doctor will be looking for all of these potential issues on a checkup after the laser procedure has been performed. All in all, YAG laser capsulotomy is a very safe and effective procedure, and the benefits of the procedure typically far outweigh any of the uncommon risks. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with a posterior capsule opacity, and this is interfering with vision, please take comfort in knowing that this is a very common condition and can be treated effectively. Thank you for watching.